Good evening. Uh, welcome to the Capital Improvement Plan Committee meeting for Tuesday, January oh, 21st. Sorry. And we're opening Jeff, the meeting at 5.02. The first thing we're going to do is take a minute and, uh, no pun intended, I guess, but uh, review the minutes of our last meeting of the 15th. I think um, it's Diana Schindler. Is yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know. No, 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 know no, I, no, no. That's I don't fine. know where I came up with that. <laughs> I just changed that. Yeah, I just that was the only thing. I don't know that. who Diana Sch Interland is? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my God. Yeah, I think it's Sue Antonella. I'm just missing an N. S on the end. What's the spelling? Yes, it is. With the S on the yes. end? Or Antonellis. is that up yeah. there? Oh, Antonella, yeah, Antonellis. I got it right down below. Mm-hmm. Oh. Want me to note another correction? I Sure. Needs to be made. Mm -hmm. The one million on the uh, rec department request should be one point one million. <clears throat> I guess assume over eleven years, the way it's laid out on their request. Yes, it was over eleven years. Yeah, ago. that's yeah. what it appeared to be. It's not over five years. It's over eleven. I put five years. It's over yeah, it's eleven over years. Year period. Yep. Looking for approximately. Mm -hmm. Uh, one million per year. No, no. I mean, hundred thousand per me. year. That'd be a trick. <laughs> yeah. Talk about your tax rate going up. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of fitness. <laughs> Changes, I'll make a motion to accept the minutes. I'll second okay. that. Uh, any other further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Is it six, zero, six zero zero. Make sure they stay 21st. 21st, yeah. <clears throat> So let's continue. We'll start with uh, go back to the highway request here, and just a quick update. There had not been a, a capital request put in for the roadside mower, and that's through EverSource, and that's a five-year plan. And uh, so Kevin submitted that tonight, and I just handed out a copy to all of you. I didn't get it. That's, I didn't either. That's. That's uh, I got the truck, I got the pickup. But oh, wait a second. I handed that out, excuse me, I handed that out last week. That, yeah, I was just gonna say, I have a copy of it. So, oh, yeah, last week, okay, if need be. Oh, yeah, I got it from that. You got it? Okay. okay. <clears throat> and that is just, uh, we're in the fourth year of a five year agreement with Eversource. And that's for $26,000. We have to cover that up front, but we get reimbursed from Eversource for the $26,000. <coughs> so I just thought I'd bring you up to date on that. And uh, for the people that don't have copies, <coughs> I will make a copy of this in a minute and uh, give those to you. I, I remember we handed them out last week, so I'm sorry. And then what I just handed out was another request that we had a little confusion about, and it was for the pickup truck. I, I have the roadside mower. 
You do. Just FYI, sorry to interrupt. Okay, all right. Probably others do if I do. Yeah, I have it. I have it. Oh, no, we got it last Might week. We got it last she week. She had to leave a little bit early for a meeting, so. Carolyn, I'll get you a copy after. Oh, no, no, I got it. Oh, you do? Yeah, no, okay. I had it. And then we originally received a request uh, from Kevin <coughs> for a new pickup, and he's looking <coughs> to uh, replace uh, 210 F-150 with 80,000 miles on it. And that's two-wheel drive basically used as the foreman's vehicle. So uh, he considered the truck was a poor in poor condition and kind of rotten out multiple patches and then mechanical issues uh, with transmission rear end and not worth putting the money into but then when we discussed it and asked questions uh, he decided that they would prefer to trade in a different pickup they had at the highway department and keep the truck that he was talking about eliminating so uh, after some confusion, some discussion, we asked Kevin if he could uh, do up a new request to uh, eliminate some of this confusion, and which he did, and he just handed that in to us. So now we are in a situation of, uh, he feels the truck that he was talking about before is in poor condition but it'll be able to make it through uh, another round of truck replacements. So what he'd like to do is be willing to trade in the 209 F250, which is in supposedly much worse shape, and uh, the current F150 could make it for the next round of trucks. So basically, he's still looking for a, a new truck it's just that he's going to be trading a different vehicle. John. He doesn't say what he's looking for for a new truck. I was going to say. Yeah, doesn't say. Too, but yeah. did it say. He it doesn't on the specify other? what the. I think it was in the right. other one. He said, he said that it was, that it was a two-wheel two -wheel drive. Standard Did cab. he say it was a regular cab, two-wheel drive? But he didn't, he didn't specify. Right. And, well, uh, I. I think he was, it was a Ford F-350 pickup with plow, nine, nine foot plow. Yeah, it doesn't say no, the that original was, one either. That was last year's. This year's is, this is the. Yeah, no, this, this is. This one is a, is this a is two-wheel drive, regular cab, eight. a very, very basic. Yeah, no, drive. this is, via, that's vehicle number nine, you're right. It was last <clears> year's. I don't know, I just think I that if. More, uh, I think he yeah. needs to there's, state it. There is a he, little. Either, either he needs to, to state it, or if we decide we're going to recommend it, then we should state that we're recommending a, a basic right. regular cab two wheel drive truck. Right. right. I think there is. Because don't, we don't really know what the pricing is. To me, a 35000 sounds like a lot for a. Right. For a cheap truck like that, but well, I also you know, I right. I also look back on records from last year, and we we're able to. Uh, he had put in for, and we had recommended uh, an F three fifty with a nine foot plow for yep. forty thousand dollars. Right, right. And that ended up, I believe, being with a king cab. So to have a two wheel drive standard cab. It, for 35 doesn't quite it doesn't make quite, sense. Yeah. We did, I, uh, we had asked at our last meeting if Diane could uh, arrange for Kevin to be here tonight, and I thought we were on board with that. There may have been a little confusion. Uh, unfortunately, Kevin is not here, so what we could do is we could just put a hold on this table. and table it right for now and see if we could get Kevin to uh, attend the next meeting for a couple of minutes. <coughs> Sorry, if, Kevin. If that would work. I know uh, not to inconvenience everybody, but it would just, I think, I don't know, would people feel more comfortable with yeah. Kevin coming in and just speaking to that not. for a minute? Yeah, I Just to make so sure well. we're all on the same page. Well, yeah, or 
either that or he, I mean he did he did say that that's what he his plan his that's what his request was for right right but he, just just didn't, he just didn't he just didn't he just didn't he didn't write it right or you can just add it to this and, and we can decide to, if yeah. we decide yeah. to recommend it we could just just Cap state it. that yeah. we're we're that's so what we're, we're recommending. so what mm -hmm. we're what we would be recommending, and obviously we're not voting it tonight anyways, right. but what we would be recommending would be... Uh, I don't... I, I just want to make sure... I don't think that's the route we should go. I think he should make the request, and then we either agree or disagree. Well, uh, I didn't and think we were And if we disagree, voting. then we can come back with a recommendation, but I, I feel it's up to him to request what he wants. Correct. A request. Yeah. Yeah. Just be more in writing, specific in writing. In, in, in writing. In, in writing. writing yeah. Rather so just than have him add it to this. Right. He yeah. is on tape right. say, saying it, but have him I mean, add it to this and give it to Diana. Yeah. And yeah. He yeah. doesn't. Yeah. Have yeah. He doesn't need to. He doesn't need to come in. It you know, seems okay. like uh, it seems like some of the some. requests we'll see, are. Maybe he can come in. I don't know. <laughs> Go ahead, John. Are very vague in terms of the dollar amounts. Like, where did these? Where did this, these dollar amounts come from? And, and I'm, I'm thinking of the, jumping ahead, but the 69,000 for the um, generator. generator at the elementary school, mm -hmm. where, did that, where did that number come from? When, when right. supposedly yeah. the, the one for the sewage treatment plant is 75,000, and that's to run industrial machinery in the entire plant, yeah. plant you know, rather than, right. you know. So, I mean, that's just, right. and then this is another 35,000, and so, I think some of the numbers for the, for the mini excavators also are, are more like, like estimates. And I, don't I think know. he's got quotes for those. Yeah, that one he did have quotes for. But then, he's, but then he said he wasn't necessarily going to buy a Caterpillar. Right. He, <laughs> wasn't, he was, you know, once he had the, the go-ahead, he was going to look at, I don't know, I don't know what other kinds. Um, Any, you know. Okay, yeah. so, so we can just simply uh, Ken. see Ken. if we can Thank you for coming. more can information you in. than. You had to bring your own chair. <laughs> but, uh, but I don't know, am I wrong? Is We're going to put a capital improvement. No. Is the I, I agree. I agree. <laughs> well, I know <laughs> they don't have solid numbers. It's so like, yeah, ridiculous. Right. Yeah, we He's just maybe ask for pressing out the just, just quick quotes right like you know i know i would like to get here early so i can get the good chair the yeah and, and well, we, they, we definitely should have something a little more specific <laughs> that's all yeah. and uh, he ought to be able to he ought to be able to say well i'm going to buy a, a caterpillar or i'm going to buy a volvo or i i want to get a although you don't know until you go out to bid right and then, well i don't know I mean, you don't you yeah. bid I don't you bid a caterpillar or a well yeah or i guess a, you yeah do. Or a Volvo, yeah. or Your RFP is for a certain brand. Yeah. If there, you want. there are also things on the ma you know mass procurement list. Right. That you just, I mean, they could have taken the numbers off. What's Can you that? designate um, a manufacturer mm -hmm. make? It, it depends. In the RFP. It depends on the. Oh yes, but. If yes, you, you can originally look, you state, can go state The system. state has a list, though, of all equipment and that. Oh, um, okay. And it's already it pre-done. Right. Um, right. So you can just go to the, and you pay, buy it off the mass bid system. Can any, anybody right. look at that list? Or no? Oh, it's public yeah. information. Yeah, it's, it's public, public yeah. information. Yeah. yeah. It's not, it's come by, so okay. it's not a big deal. Big Brothers watching. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so we'll, we'll, See if Kevin can provide us with a little more information. Either he can come see us, or he can, he can just add react. to right add to his request here to just clarify what year and uh, the makeup of the vehicle. And we'll go from there. Okay. Uh, let's go to. And I'm sorry, I'm going to jump here a little bit, but Ken, thank you very much for being able to make it tonight. I hope plans were not interrupted. No, actually, just got back earlier than I had uh, thought I would probably be getting back, so I'm glad to be here. Okay. Thanks. 
Right. With, with uh, let's jump to the school, the elementary school. And with that, on the five-year plan, Ken was nice enough to check with, with the school department. And there had been some uh, anticipated costs for FY21. Mm -hmm. And uh, ceiling tile was one. And uh, door hardware was another that we thought we were going to have another year. And Ken verified that that is not required. So the 125 for the door <coughs> hardware for the anticipated 21, which they did not put in a request, they're all set with that, and that will not be needed. And then the ceiling tile uh, with what the others that they have going on is not a priority at the moment. So we can discuss that a little bit uh, later as far as whether we want to push it down the road on the five-year plan or just take it <clears throat> off the five-year plan uh, when we get to the five-year plan yes. as far as discussing in detail. Sure. So the other, the other two items that they did have on there, though, was the... Uh, <clears throat> Let me catch up here. Restroom, a renovation. bit. restroom renovations and the floor, as far as replacing flooring, mm -hmm. and they put in a request for those, and we will consider those on the night that we vote. We've reviewed them, and I'll just go back uh, on the floor replacement and the restroom replacement. Do we need to discuss that any further? Are there any questions with Ken here that anybody wants to bring up or concerns? This is the floor. How much? That's not floor. That's the entryway. Um, 15.3, right? This Does the right. anybody know what, how much we actually spent on? I don't have the, the final years? number. They just completed the oh, work the um, over the uh, holiday season. So they just finished up the work on the uh, bathroom renovations, and I don't, I don't, I don't remember what. what I'm just what wondering I if the 15-3 is a give me, give relatively me a, good number. I think they would have asked for more if it wasn't. Uh, <laughs> so, okay, true. Yeah. Um, my understanding is that it came in under budget, and or it came in on budget. You know that they didn't overspend what what was designated. Good. So, but I don't have the final numbers. <laughs> now, um, while I look for that sheet, I do have it. Can, can you give us an update on the generator and the dollar request? Uh, the um, <clears throat> generator request, what was it? I think it was 68,000. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and that was a, uh, a generator that would basically power the um, freezers and uh, infrastructure in the kitchen area to keep food safe and <clears throat> provide heat to the to the building and not uh, not power the whole building but just critical circuits heating um, HVAC and uh, refrigeration and then enough lights to you know have Golden emergency syrup. lighting sort of through the building and, and I think it was in the core that they're planning to have more centralized lighting, but it's not the whole building. The request said that um, it might serve, the school might serve as an emergency shelter. Mm -hmm. Is that being taken off the board or the request? Um, I don't think that that's necessarily taken off the, off the request. You could you could still use the, basically you're, you're there, I think the uh, proposal came in to power the cafeteria area mm -hmm. and the office spaces and then heat the building to keep it protected. So the emergency shelter would be the so cafeteria area? So the emergency area. sheltering could take place in the cafeteria uh, health area if needed. Um, but again, this was, this was submitted for discussion for the town to consider. Do, they, do we want to do something further with that building 
Uh, we've never had it protected. We've never had power outage that uh, would have required it to be protected. But uh, in the course of investigating or looking at generators, um, some work was done electrically to, to make it possible, you know, more easily, meet, more easy for the building to be either have a generator, a permanent generator installed or a temporary um, transfer switch type of process where you could bring in a portable generator or you know, a temporary generator for emergency situations. So that's, uh, some of that work has been completed already to bring, to make it gener generator ready. Um, so, so my question is the, the town hall generator was 33,000. Mm -hmm. And the generator for the sewage treatment plant is, from memory, is 75,000. Mm -hmm. So it just seems like the, my question is where is the 68,000, where is that number coming from? Because it just seems like too, it seems like too much. I, it's, I mean, uh, it's a number that they got for the basic services they were, you know, basic circuits that they were looking to, to power. And, I, you know, I don't have the answer. I don't know specifically the equipment and specifically the kilowatt hour I think it would, requirements. Well, it would be more palatable, I think, if, if um, you know, if it was more like uh, 30,000 than 68,000, <laughs> you know, maybe. Right. Well, I know, I mean, I, I put two generators in at the Met when I was there. Mm -hmm. And they were in the, uh, I think they were both around forty to $45,000. Mm -hmm. And all I was doing was powering a dormitory, you know. But you were doing the whole, you were doing the whole thing. Right. But, it, I mean, those were dorms that also have solar power and, and smaller numerous too. other things. I mean, they're totally electric. But how, so. I mean, how like how big are the? I have no idea how big the boilers or the furnaces are. How uh, much juice do they? Well, the we just boilers are pretty significant, and it's not so much the the boilers as it is the um, the equipment that gener that you know circulates the water and and keeps everything operating. The, the water is constantly <coughs> circulated when it, when you're running a boiler plant of that size because you got to keep the building. Mm -hmm. Keep it moving through the building. Um, and but the cir how much circulators power? don't really. I'm not an expert. Maybe you are. I, no, I'm not. I'm not an expert. <laughs> but I'm just thinking about. I'm thinking about seventy-five thousand to power a sewage treatment so what, plant. I mean, I versus, what I did was I checked in with uh, Darius because I I did not have a chance to mm -hmm. talk to the new facilities manager. So I will I will double check back with him and ask again exactly I, what. What it powers, and you know, what's the capacity of it? Did he get an estimate? From what's that? Did he get? They an got. They just got an estimate. They just. They needed a number to okay. to put forward a proposal. So is, this yeah. isn't the final number. It's, no, I'm not it's, saying that. It's it's a general. But they didn't pick it out of the air either. No. They talked. No, they, to they had someone say to them, "This is approximately what it would yeah, cost." Okay. The thing. I mean, it's a pretty big school. And I think it's one of the features of this. We always forget it looks like a tiny little school. It serves 450 students. It's not, yeah. it's not a small building. And I think that's part of the concern of this um, place of shelter. Now, I missed this presentation. But in order to do the basic things, it seems to me, then it turns out to be a little more than yeah, it's I a big place. Right. I don't know the specific power requirements yeah. um, myself, and I didn't delve that deeply. I just asked, is this powering the whole building or is it, what is it? Because, you know, we have questions. So the response was given back to me, no, it's not intended to power the whole building. It's just intended basic. to power, you know, these, the, the, these boilers and the boilers and to keep the refrigerators from. And the server. Boilers and, some and basic the lights. air handling and, air and handling. heat handling systems, uh, HVA systems, HVAC systems and, um, the, the basic refrigeration, now admittedly that's not as huge as some things, but still that's, that's a fair amount of power that gets used. Um, I, again, I don't know exactly that that was the response given to me and you know, I got that answer. I can go further and ask 
specifically what they had quoted and how much how deeply this has been right. investigated. It's good. So if the bill if the building froze, presumably we have insurance that would that would pay well, yeah, presumably you'd have insurance, but then you're but then you have then you're out of school. You have the disruption <laughs> of the school. Right. You have uh, a loss of service of the building. You've got to find another place. Um, you know, right. in fairly short notice. That having gone through three three burst sprinkler mm -hmm. <laughs> events in my my career, it's not a lot of fun. To, to right. You have to clean up after it, and um, it's. Really but we're, I guess we're just, I, you know, we're trying to, mm -hmm. trying to balance all of these. Oh, absolutely. I, and you're oh, asking you, the, you know. the, the questions that need to be asked. It's, it's just. And who, who would decide that that building would become a shelter, an official shelter? And what, Carolyn? What's the ramifications of? Uh, the Board of Health declares, right. uh, you know, an emergency and opens it up, and we're responsible for running it. <clears throat> In the town. It's a town. In the town. town yeah. Right. Yeah. But we have a MOU um, to, with Greenfield and Montague to um, have them open a shelter. It's a lot of responsibility. And you've got to check everyone in, and you've got to take whatever they bring you know, as a pet with yeah, them. So there's, so there's a huge, certain huge, amount of planning and... We have planning. We just don't have a lot of stuff to go, um, supplies and things like that, to set up a... a I so mean, we'd be scrambling. There so are, setting up there a are, shelter isn't just having a, a warm building. It's there's more. There, well, we have we we open up warming centers and cooling centers if you have extreme heat or you know people can come in and recharge their if there's no power to recharge their phones and stuff like that. That's different than opening a shelter. Shelter is where people sleep, and you have to check people in, and you're responsible for those people. It's very. It's very, very serious to run a shelter, and that's why we have, death, right, right. Mm -hmm. and um, so we have uh, an MOU to do that with Greenfield and Montague, who are more set up, and um, we participate. But that doesn't mean that if we have a regional event that we wouldn't be having to do that in, in an emergency. And there are, um, you know, Homeland Security has caches of supplies that we would certainly put in for if there was an event and you need to have control over the building. Well, I, I, you know, I, I understand what Jack's saying. We're trying to make sense, I think, of the cost of, you know, here you have the town generator at 30 some odd and then they have the sewer treatment plant at 70 some odd. And, is that sixty? Well, I, I think is, we could is that look, sixty dollar yeah. amount. You know, we should look into it. But I, right. I have to say that protecting our buildings and refrigeration of food, um, you know, I would be the one that would say that you know the food had would have to be thrown out if it was X number of days it got defrosted or to whatever. To be honest with you, I'd be more worried about pipes freezing yeah. and water yeah. damage yeah. than the food. Yeah, the food um, can't no, be but, that much money. Right. No, but, but, you know, right. but it's still, it's still an expense. But, but I, you know, it's our responsibility, just, our responsibility is to, to, to take care of the building. Right. No, there's no you just hate to see at something all. happen. So this yeah. is, yeah. it's right. not, this is now yeah. wired. So Ken, if you could get, just check to make sure in depth that that's a good number. Yep. And uh, I will follow up further. Right. Okay. Thank you. I mean, you. the one time we've had a burst pipe over there from the sprinkler system, um, we were fortunate in the area that it burst in was the cafeteria, which uh, the flooring and right. everything Nobody's else. There was clean up. very little, very little residual damage, I should say, right. or you know. Uh, but okay. that so doesn't mean that if it went off somewhere else, that right. it wouldn't be a mess. Right. 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 That's I'm it. actually in favor of it. Right. I just, I'm just questioning yeah, the cost. Yeah, we just need yeah. to know the cost. I, I, yeah. I, I think we're all in agreement that it sounds, maybe it's it time makes to protect sense, that building after just, 25 years, but uh, yeah. <laughs> we need to find out exactly what, so I'll ask. Okay. Yeah, a couple and points. you'll be able Should to bring that sense. information back at the next meeting, or sure. send me an email. Oh, or One or the other. 25 right. years okay. of cost, and I, as soon as I find out, I'll uh, okay. get the I mean. As soon as it, there's a button, right. I want a generator. To the committee. <laughs> Thank you. Then I get sure. a generator. Very quickly, uh, so everybody knows, <laughs> I did check mm -hmm. at the beginning of November with Brenda as far as uh, some of the items 
that we Just had recommended for last year for the capital improvement. The town hall generator, as far as expenses up to the beginning of November, because I wanted to track those a little bit to make sure that money was being spent out on these requests. In the town hall generator, you had $33,852 spent as of the beginning of November. Police radios, you had the 17 1,672 spent. The flooring, you had about 7,800 spent at that point. And as Ken said, that was for the Deerfield Elementary. And as Ken said, they did additional work after that. Uh, as far as the gym floor, you had a little over 10,000 spent up to that date. So that was being money spent. And then the hardware, uh, $12,451 was spent on that. So, and then the uh, Ford 350 with the plow, the 40,000 was spent on that. So as you can see, the, they were either completely spent or progress was being made. Uh, clarifier costs was a little over $50,000, uh, $57,000. And the ambulance replacement uh, they had put away was uh, 71,000. So the uh, progress, as far as the projects or the purchases, uh, they were happening. And so I think we're in pretty good shape. People were following up on that. So I was glad to see that. Now, uh, um, and just, I, go just ahead, one Ken. thing before we go any further. In terms of the generator, um, there was $25,000 set aside in the previous town meeting and some amount of that money was spent this year in the studies on the generator and upgrading the circuits. But that would, I would imagine, would be money that could be reapportioned or turned back in or used to offset some of the cost of the generator. Is well. that in the school account, Ken? It's in, a, it was an approved town meeting warrant article, so it's, it's available funds. <laughs> Okay. Um, it's not in the school account per se, but it's a it's you know it's an approved expenditure from from the town meeting. So we would have to check with the town meeting. We have. I think I remember that. Check with Brenda to see. We could see what the balance is, or I could just ask. Um, okay. The uh, business office to, All right, to update still. the status of that, but that just. All right. Just that that's what sort of triggered this whole process was they mm -hmm. came to me and said, what do we want to do about this $25,000 article? Do we want to turn it back? Do we want to, and we, the committee discussed it and said, let's do it an initial, let's find out what's going on. If there's any money that needs to be spent to, to complete that study, let's do it. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have a better feel. That's sort of where the start of the $68,000 question is. Right. Uh, so there is, you know, well, we'd have to piece it all together, right? But there might be funds if you could check on already that also. earmarked that could be applied towards the cost, mm -hmm. right? So. Which could mm -hmm. not lower cost, but be applied to the right. total cost. Yep. Okay. That that sounds great. The another item we had. And I'm sorry, we're kind of jumping all over tonight, and I apologize, but we're trying to tie up a bunch of loose ends here. So the next item we have was uh, a request from the select board, and that was the senior center slash church <coughs> reuse, and a request for $50,000 for FY21 for a feasibility study. And uh, I was hoping that Julie was going to be able to be here tonight, and I guess there is again a little miscommunication, uh, not on Julie's part, I think on our part, uh, as far as she sits, she sits on the finance committee, but she also is uh, chair of the building assessments mm -hmm. committee. And I was hoping that she would be able to give us a little update on where that building assessment uh, committee was in the process. Uh, I believe they went out to bid and they hired, Carolyn, do you remember hired a uh, company to start those assessments? Yes. 
but I believe they had like, a, what was it, 120 days to complete? Yep. So, um, I, can't, I can't really speak on it, though, because we haven't discussed it. Um, right. As you know, a as, a, as, a, as a board. Right. So, um, okay. Trevor is the point person with, on that. All right. Um, with okay. Julie on that. So that's different than the All right. senior. Yes, yeah. and that's senior why I wanted to explain. Oh, okay. You're absolutely right, Rachel. That is different right. than, right. than a feasibility study. The assessment was just take a look at the building mm -hmm. and see if it was worthwhile investing any type of money right. into the building. And right. a feasible ability study would actually uh, invest in a study of what needs to be done specifically and how much, if my understanding is correctly, in a total walkthrough and actually come up with a plan, more or less a plan for the building. That, that would match our needs. Right. right. So, so there, is, there, is a, there is a big difference. <laughs> now... Carolyn, do you want to, seeing how you're here, do you want to speak I, towards I, that? I, no, I, like, I, I can't so because the, I, it's not it's something that I'm involved in, like so I can't. Okay, I'm for the feasibility use, study yeah, itself, right? even though yeah. there's grass, okay. Again, we haven't talked about it as a board, so. I, that um, this, it says, I had a note saying we could maybe, when we do vote, we could, if we decide to recommend, we could recommend um, the, this, contingent yeah. on the. Right, on the assessment. I know we had the same right, note. Because yeah. we did, we did uh, briefly discuss that, and I think Diana was uh, part of that discussion. So, uh, is that how we want to leave that? It's, I'm sorry. Until mm, so we can get I, further information. My, my chart has 200,000 in 2020 and 50,000 in 2000 and 21 and 50,000 in 22. I know. Is that back That's what the five year plan has, yeah. Should that be the, the other way around? around? 50 right. and 200, right. 50,000 feasibility? That, the, yeah. You know what, those were plug in numbers. Right. right. So, but let's unplug them. I mean, so, if we're going to plug them, but at least reverse the plugging. So right. Right. Well, I think, it's, I think it's something that we difference. even need to discuss on that as far as with the five year plan. Uh, once we get to that, which will be shortly here, of uh, I'm, I'm take a look and how do we do we yep. want do we want to? I guess what comes down to a five-year plan is do we want to put placeholders in there or not? Obviously, you want to anticipate costs that you may be running into, but on on something that is new <laughs> that comes about, I can see we try to address it. Oh, I think it's I on think something that's been there and been discussed though for four or five, six years and nothing's been done with it. Mm -hmm. Do we still try to carry it forward or we just say I, take I it off the plan until uh -huh. something's decided? I don't think that's up to us. I think that's the well, department heads. Well and I was gonna I was gonna say is there like a bigger picture that that maybe mm -hmm. isn't being conveyed hasn't be, it been conveyed or hasn't really be considered like for example um, there's not a lot of the, there's like well there's like it's Inside. like we're concentrating on these these build these old buildings right right which some people might say just they should be demolished and just start over it's a whole other and and Rachel had a, I thought, a great suggestion that, that one direction might be to create like a campus yeah. with a senior center, community mm -hmm. center, mm -hmm. new mm -hmm. library, mm -hmm. um, rather than trying to piece together. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying necessarily that I'm in favor of that or that's mm -hmm. the best idea, but mm -hmm. it sounded like a, you know, mm -hmm. something to, to consider. Mm -hmm. um, rather than, than, than sort of um, fixating on these buildings that maybe you know you, maybe you should it's just time to let go well I think you that's know, what the I'm, assessment right the, the building assessment study yes. will and hopefully, the building assessment and that's why might, might yeah. say, hopefully shed some light on you know might say just let's just and I think that the the um, Julie shelf out the that committee has done a lot of that thinking through on how these buildings can be uh -huh. interconnected so I'm sorry she's not here. So I think that will be an interesting person to talk to, 
uh, to find out what they, because they really talked to mm. a lot of people, looked at those mm -hmm. buildings, tried to figure out what the interfaces could be, um, what, what is possible and what is actually not possible. Um, the library and senior center, they, they, you right. know, that, that complex. It just seems like it just makes sense to me that they yeah. would be somehow yeah, at least connected. connected. They would be connected in some, mm -hmm. in some way. That, yeah. The, and that the idea that we would of be duplicating a community services. center as part of that, mm -hmm. yeah. which is actually part of the library proposal yeah. with the, you know. It, Building kind of more of a civic understanding, get, getting people into town. The, you know, you love coming in here when the kids are signing up for soccer. Like they're coming through, you know, you're, you get people meeting each other in different places, uh, transfer stations for sure, but other places. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's one of the reasons I know the only place you see your neighbors is at the dump. I mean, like the, <laughs> the the tough part about this whole thing is if uh, if the RFP didn't go out until December sometime, and mm -hmm. there's three months, that puts us into basically the end of March before we really get the report back from the assessment. And I don't want to throw dates out there. I apologize mm -hmm. because I could be off mm -hmm. on dates. I think that's about the ballpark figure that I was kind Sounds of hearing right. through the grapevine. That could be wrong, you know, who knows. But I think from what I was hearing was it puts us towards the end of March, which for this committee and these issues that are being brought forward does not help us. It puts us in a very difficult position once yes. again to, well, how do we handle this if also when we get back that buildings assessment and say and they say don't waste your money on the senior center it should be torn down church is worthwhile saving you know once that determination is made then then i think we can get a little more specific but right now without really knowing that it's hard to address these requests for you know fifty thousand for a feasibility study well that's a new point as far as i'm concerned if somebody's telling you look don't waste your money that mm -hmm. building needs to come down. So I, you know. Yeah, and but I think, you know, in terms of trying to discuss and build a five-year plan, mm -hmm. this committee should, you know, everything is coming to us to formulate a plan or to put a <coughs> plan forward that the citizens can look at and the town fathers and, you know, all the boards can look at. But really, if, if you know, as, John found out investigating and putting together this, this great chart, and as we've discovered, people forget things that have been passed in the past. I mean, when the superintendent comes to me this year and says, oh, we've got $25,000 that's been floating around for four years, <laughs> um, <laughs> that was meant to, you know, right. to study it's and, like and put towards a generator, those are the types of things that get lost if we don't have placeholders. Yeah. And if we yeah. don't, at least yeah, no, have I, it there. And I understand, that's why I say. Yeah. And, and so. it, it does help to look at, I mean, even if you're looking at those bottom line, you know, those bottom mm. line numbers that John helped to generate, and you, you start to say, golly, you, you know, 2023 is a, is a low year. Well, we don't actually necessarily want a low year. We want steadiness, right? We want the, that, that kind mm. of sense of what can we take on when we have that moment. So... I don't know. It could be nice. They can do with it. <laughs> no, okay. I know. it's a break to have to have enough money, but it, it's a break. It's you don't want it. You don't want to have a big year where it's a big because you set everybody's expectations all wrong. You can stabilize it with a capital stabilization fund, though, mm -hmm. and that stabilizes it that way. Stabilizes the out the out uh, once the, you, the, the payments, right, once but you, I mean the, the request for payments. But you want that to be stabilized. You're right, you don't want to. Have no, one year the, your costs are up here, and the next year your costs are down here. Right. You want them to be. I think we should keep numbers in the plan unless there's a, yes. you know, unless the departments cancel a request yes. or, mm -hmm. you know, if there's some yes. updated information. Yep. I mean, no, it doesn't that's hurt to. Clearly, if we're kicking it, we keep have kicking been it doing down. Kicking it forward, just right. kick it forward. And if we're kicking it forward, then it's not a huge priority. Mm -hmm. Right. But that doesn't mean that it's not out there somewhere. Right. And that's the problem where. I think there's a huge problem is all that stuff that's out there. We mm -hmm. want it out. If you see it see on it. paper, even if in the estimate, it is clearly gives you more idea of what's coming. What's needed. Yeah. And what's needed. Right. 
and it, and mm -hmm. and you have to set priorities. Or what's so, being thought about? Right. Oh, yeah. 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 Right. Mm -hmm. right. Absolutely. And if yeah, you set what, the what priorities, then some of them by default are going to get kicked down. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what we've been doing. And thinking might thinking might change, which is right. It's mm -hmm. fine. Or mm -hmm. right, or opportunities for funding. Mm -hmm. I mean, if it's out there, somebody's looking for it. I mean, right. you never know when you right. come across stuff. Unanticipated needs too. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Things mm -hmm. that come up that weren't evident, right? But suddenly are until they're raining yeah. on your head. Yep. <laughs> until the water comes. Well, we have been we have been doing that, you know, right. with our five-year plan. We yeah. have been trying to project, yeah. and yeah. Mm -hmm. and so we'll just continue. We'll just continue. And that's where some of these numbers a, have come from. They're still plan. estimates. Yeah. But so, all right. but so, can I just clarify then? Because the complete yes. streets, for example, that's that's the one we're looking at right now, right? Where we've actually separated, uh, according to the five-year plan, we've separated the complete streets. Um, from the town common, that's another thing we might do, is separate those two lines, John? Yeah, but that, that happened after. Yeah, no, I'm just this. saying, yeah, yeah, oh, absolutely. And that's what, and actually, that's what I love about this, is that now we have some clarity there, and we can, you know, in the next iteration, separate those two things, because I think we're moving so much more, more clearly with the town common, and not as clearly with the complete streets, well, but we want the money still, I mean, we want the, well, the matching money is not as available. Um, the yeah. matching money for the town common is under the MVP program, whereas the matching money under the complete streets is DOT. And today at Homeland Security, I had heard that um, there are huge complaints with um, DOT not, you know, falling through on their um, grant programs like right. the complete streets. So all the more They're reason. way, way behind. But so, all the more reason to separate right. them, but all the more reason to keep the keep it out front so right so so by these are again these are just the match numbers so you know by def no no problem on our end it could be the program match is is changing mm -hmm. right so mm -hmm. it's it is important to follow along and to keep them as separate yeah I think I, it was a mistake to join them together yeah. I think but now we know yep we have a, a finance committee meeting coming in at six o'clock, but no, it's still not a mistake because it's still with that being project. said, right? It's good for us to keep uh, Do we want to select a date for our next meeting? Yes. And also set more or less an agenda for our next meeting. Um, I think we need to decide who we're going to talk to. And right. make that's, sure the invitations that's what I'm saying for oh. a meeting. go out. Um, <laughs> hey, Andy's shooting me all these numbers. Well, Skip and I just had set a meeting, but the, um, so large I was just thinking that hopefully people will come to yeah. our special town not, meeting no. on, the on the 29th. That is on the 29th. Yeah. <clears throat> so we could have yeah. a capital it's meeting, improvement meeting prior to that. Uh, Times a special town meeting seven, right? Seven. That's seven. Seven. That would work. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Guys. That's just things like that. You know, it's the position. And we could invite your, people to come and then they can stay in both. Yeah. Okay. But okay. If, when it does, that's um, what you got to have. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to make that or not, but Jack could yeah. always run that meeting. Yeah, we've been so mind. happy to have generators. Are you kidding? If need be, I'll, yeah, I don't know for sure yet if I'll be able to make the 29th or not. I know. Uh, oh, God. It's, yeah. 29th? It's, I'm trying to arrange it so I can. Uh, we, might, we really need Do we want to do, what time do we want to do a meeting on the 29th? 5.30. 5.30. 5.30. 5.30. Yeah. You want to give yourselves enough time, so... So is that official? 5.30 on the 29th? 5.30. Sounds like a plan. Okay, no good. Now, so then what would the agenda be? And who do we have left well, to we, uh, talk to? Listen to. Well, I was just going to say, um, let's just. We have a complete street, a slide quarter meeting, and a special time meeting. Now you guys are going to meet too. You have a slide quarter meeting that night? Yeah, on the 29th. Are you talking about January 29th? Yeah. That's a special town meeting. 
Yeah. So, so at five o'clock we have our complete streets uh, public sort of you know tier two prioritization public meeting, and then at six o'clock, or, or I don't even know if we were going to have time to have a select board meeting, but then at seven is the special, and then the selectmen do have an agenda to have in between sometime in there between six and. Yeah, it sounds um, like we're out. Yeah. No, we could have a meeting still. How about the 28th? We could. What about Tuesday? Or kitchen or the conference room. Will you be able to do oh, that before yeah. though? Yeah. Sounds like I there's mean, enough going on that night that we probably don't. Yeah, I would say, uh, how about the 28th? We could meet the 28th the night before. Mm -hmm. I can't, but that's fine. Okay. Where, 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 skip, um, do we, we don't have a... 30. Finance is a 30th. We could. Uh, yeah, okay. So we could do. You can't make this step. No, I'll do the 30th. The point I'm in the only day of this week. I can't do the 30th at 5 o'clock. I can't do that either. <clears throat> We're just fine if it's just me. Okay. It's not a big deal. If there's enough people. Can people do. Yeah, I mean, you might have more complete streets information. Right. Oh, after Thursday at 5. Thursday the 30th? Yeah, Thursday okay. the 30th at 5. I can't stay long, but Sounds I like can come. Um, okay. So Thursday who, the 30th, who are we going to invite? Right? Who, who do you want? You want complete streets? Yep, we need to discuss the complete streets. Diana, you'll be able to make that. Okay. Building assessments. Building assessments. All right. Julie, do you want me to call her? See if she can come in. Yeah. You mean feasibility I mean, will she be here in, Will she be here in just a minute? No, just. The assessment committee. We'd love to hear from them, no? Just to find yeah, out. I was just going to say she's going to be here pretty soon. She'll, She'll be, be here shortly. shortly. Find out. Julie's going to be here shortly. Yeah. We can ask if oh, she be present to give us an update on absolutely great and complete streets diana would be basically yep. handling that kevin if he needs to speak on the truck or he can just update you can just, the, update. You can just be more specific on, yeah. on, on, what on he's the request yeah. all right so diana you have that the complete streets and you need to have kevin come back and who else besides you and we're going to ask julie when she comes no, Kevin doesn't. We don't, need Kevin. We don't really need Kevin. Kevin, Kevin, just, Kevin, Kevin doesn't just, have to come back per se. Just, 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 just wanted to write just a little what, more specific what, on what, his what, request. What truck he's as far as what truck he wants to buy. buy. He's got all the information about what he's right. trading in. It. Is he looking for you know 2020 with a standard cab and two wheel drive and. <laughs> Vinyl seats and a right. moonroof, three speed transmission. Five speed Bose, <laughs> Bose system for yeah. radio. XM Sirius ready. The little things. Ah, and the heated steering wheel. Who knew that was going to make me as happy as that has made me? What is that? The heated steering wheel. It's, ha it's, it's like, wonderful. It's my happy place. Uh, We're going that about, just the whole time. Could we arrange for um, Trevor? He was going to try to do some follow up with the common mm -hmm. as far as monies. So maybe Trevor could come in and speak very quickly. If part of the uh, committee would like to come in also, that's fine. I don't think it's necessary, but if they would like to, they're more than welcome to. Kevin was just going to try to find out uh, monies as far as CPA so or whatever. Trevor. Trevor, excuse me, Trevor. Uh, I don't know. We kind of, we kind of. I thought we were done with that. Yeah, I feel like we're done. With, we're kind <laughs> of done much. discussing the common. Yeah. And and the yeah. CPA money doesn't have anything to do with us, per se. Yeah. I mean, right. They get, they get, That's they all they you should. wanted to check on. You was going to try to grant from that. I guess I was just. But we don't really get involved money. in that anyway. No. So no. Kind of resources. So. Well, it'd be no. nice to know. Right. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. You could send us. And then, if need be, if time permits, we will. Uh, review a little bit on the five-year plan a couple of things that we have to update on that five-year plan mm -hmm. is the uh, 19 million that was amended at our uh, annual town meeting for the wastewater treatment plan and also not indicated here was uh, the request for 
250,000 was amended to 150,000 for the capital stabilization plan. So we'll need to make note of that. And then we can also review uh, a little bit more on the five year plan. And Ken, maybe, maybe while you're uh, checking on the freezer for the elementary school, you could also see if the ceiling tiles are something they want to push down the road or it's just definitely something that would be pushed down the road. It, it would not be a priority at the time. Right. Senior administrative team. That was the state you made for me as we talked about it. They said no, we could we would have other needs beyond oh, for right. that kind of money we could find other needs that are more pressing. More pressing. All right. So then we can just Set that aside when we hear from you. You'll bring it back up when you, when need be. All right. When do we need to vote? And I know there was a time frame. I'm trying to well, we're back in the memory. Well, we're going to have to. We're going to have to vote. Right. We're going to have to. It'll have to be uh, that first week of February. We're going to have to. That will be our well, meeting can we set, after this. Can we set yeah, let's the look next at that meeting. Date so that I don't show. think we'll have enough time after all the discussions with streetscapes and that. If we had, I, I would like to try to vote everything one night. That so are you? Well last I can say that we gone <laughs> potentially even the, like the Monday or Tuesday of that week, and then I'm gone for, for the duration of the month of February. Okay, and so I'm back until the first week of March. All right. Do so we want to set a date right now? So we're talking about Tuesday the fourth, right? Yeah, right. yeah you Tuesday have, the fourth. You have seven. Yeah. Okay, so we're looking at like five o'clock again. You yes. want to do Tuesday the fourth at five o'clock, and that will be the night nice that we vote everything for yeah. this for the capital improvement. Okay. Okay. When is it? Day five, the fourth. Four. Tuesday, February 4th, 5 o'clock, and that's to vote everything. So we'll have to hustle and kind of tie everything up the best we can next week. And then uh, we can vote items and work on the five-year plan at the same time. So, um, so Ken was going to um, get more information on the generator, correct? Yep. And what was the other thing that we were looking for from him? Clarification on the the hardware has been removed. So anybody? Yeah. In the so no one. Tiles, he said it's not a priority. So that could be moved. Right. Um, or dropped. So or every dropped. or dropped. Right. In the in the hardware they have completed. So you have all your your all your questions on flooring and. Yes. Renovations all yep. feel. Yep. Those have all you, been. Yep. We, okay. We reviewed those so. Okay. Yeah. So the generator is the, the, only the big thing. issue. Kevin clarified the pickup truck for us. And then the streetscapes needs further discussion. Okay. And then maybe uh, Julie could give us an update on the uh, building assessment. That was a question still. Okay. But that would be good going forward just mm -hmm. to have us in clarity, yeah. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't know enough to. I don't know exactly. Not necessarily for 2021, but like. And even even uh, out. well, yeah, we're not going to be able to do a whole lot with that anyways because that's not going to be. It's. Not, I think it's not really. It's really more about looking out beyond right. 21, and seeing. Diana did did yeah, um five year plan is, is there, is there any anything items that yes. Is, that think of John? yes the uh, recorder on January seventeenth had an article of Leiden received a forty thousand grant from the community compact information technology grant to either purchase new computers they're gonna use the money to purchase new computers altogether or update current systems to Windows ten. So that affects finance committee too if we're doing an upgrade, it's in operating budget. But just FYI, it's out there. I don't know if you, we're participating, knew about it. Huh? We're participating in um, cybersecurity um, pilot that will do the kind of the same thing. 
We don't have a dollar amount on it, but it's in the same dollar range. For the same use? New computers or update what we have? It's not going to buy hardware. What it's doing is, is, is updating our software and, and security. It sounds like something totally different, though, to me, but maybe just so community we don't take everybody's contact, time, well, maybe we should look into it. I can leave the article with you. Okay. Well, community, it depends on how, um, what they use the community compact for, um, you know, when they apply. To buy new computers or upgrade Windows 10? That's what they want to do with it. Well. That's what the paper said. Yeah. I know, but. <laughs> don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> I know, I know. Do you so, want this? Do you care? Yeah, no. Well, I, I, I wrote down community compact. They don't usually buy equipment, um, but we'll check into it. Okay. We're, we're doing cyber security, which is a, you know, software and that kind of stuff. All software right, so we're, is expensive. We're good on our meetings. We have, just to make sure everybody's on the same page, we have... January 30th, Thursday at 5 o'clock. And then we have February 4th, Tuesday at 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Everybody mm -hmm. good? Yes. Yep. yep. All right. I make a motion. We adjourn. Second. Second. Any further discussion on that? Good. Yep. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, everybody. Appreciate it.